For Mooresville, North Carolina's Keith Champagne, just getting himself in the Osetic number 55 to the track each week presents its own unique challenges. The Chris Osetic prepared ride ended 2017 super fast, and Keith Champagne hoped a few more off-season tweaks could catapult him to more victories and a run at the 2018 Novellus Super Modified Championship. Opening day found the 55 starting mid-pack in traffic much of the night for the first twin 50. Champagne was able to keep moving forward and out of trouble to a respectful third place finish. The night cap twin 50 found a much better starting spot and was able to even pull away from defending series champ Shulin. With just 10 laps to go, Champagne was able to move into the second spot on his way to catch the leader. Champagne was unable to close the gap on the lead and settled for a runner-up finish. Champagne came into week number two at the Steel Palace unexpectedly as the points leader. Champagne's good fortunes would soon run out after he spun out to avoid a spinning number 52 of Dave Danzer. The 55 would have to regroup from the back of the pack and possibly drive a little faster than he wanted to to get back to the front. With just a single lap to go, Champagne encountered more trouble and left this 55 to a seventh place finish. June 16th found another set of twin 35 lap features. The 55 of Champagne would start towards the back of the first 35 lapper and put on a great battle with the number 50 of Dave Gruel through much of the race. After both Team Nakutra cars were sent to the back, Champagne saw the opportunity to move up and pick up some spots. At the end of the first twin 35, Champagne came home with a fourth place finish. The second twin 35 saw a spirited battle between Champagne, Sitterly, and Barnes for the victory. The Osetic 55 began to fade late in the race, but was able to pull out another fourth place finish on the night. To round out the month of June, the Grand Prix 75 saw the Osetic 55 make some nifty moves in his qualifying heat race, which they hoped was a sign of things to come for the feature. Champagne had a great sixth place starting spot as the field took the green. The top runners in the point chase stuck together as they moved through the field, swapping lanes and positions for many laps. While the Champagne number 55 was able to steer clear of any trouble for the majority of the race, the second half of the race would see the 55 lose track of the top five and fade back to an eighth place finish. July would find a fast running 55 machine as he raced his way up to the top five in the first half of the 50 lapper. A close call for Champagne when the zero car got up into the wall and minor damage to the Osetic 55 as well. Champagne was forced to come in to the attention of Osetic Racing crew in the pits to see if anything needed repairs. Champagne would once again have to make the long late race charge from the back to pick up the precious points. Some long green flag runs enabled Champagne to keep moving up through the running order and managed to capture another fourth place finish. The next event on July 14th would showcase some of the best side-by-side -side racing in many years, and Keith Champagne played a great part in this first action. First battling with defending champ Schulich, and later battling with Sitterly lap after lap. The two would run into trouble as they approached traffic in turns three and four, with Sitterly headed up to the wall. Champagne was able to keep charging forward after the conflict and claim the runner-up spot behind Schulich, also cementing his spot firmly into the points chase. Retro Knight brought the long-awaited debut of the throwback 8-ball paint scheme from the Oswego Speedway for the number 55 of Champagne, honoring his late Uncle Jim. For many fans and crew members, the site alone brought back so many memories, while others got to see the 8-ball for the very first time. A solid top 5 starting spot for Champagne's 8-ball just ensured a top 5 run for the 55. The 8-ball of Champagne battled hard all night long with Otto Sitterly and others, and kept up with the lead pack throughout the race. The final few laps saw the lead bunch in traffic and Champagne would get shuffled out and settle for another fourth place finish at the end. The battle for the runner-up position in the points chase was fully up for grabs heading into the second to last event on August 11th. Champagne kept the family eight ball colors on the 55 as hoping to provide it with a little extra luck to get to victory lane. Everything was looking great early in the feature as Champagne dueled both with Schulich and Barnes respectfully. Champagne's arch nemesis turn three at Oswego reached out to spoil the good run for Champagne around halfway. The 05 of Jeff A. Bolden Champagne would end up in the wrong way, but managed to keep it off the wall. Champagne then headed to the pits for repairs before heading back out onto the track. In the end, a 10th place finish on the night saw a valuable points loss, as Champagne would now drop back to fourth in points with a single race to go. As championship night rolled to the green, Champagne looked to rebound from the misstep the week prior. 
the Champagne 55 looked really good early on, and back to mid-season form battling with the Coacher Racing teammates. Tricky Turn 3 would yet again find the Champagne effort come to a halt with damage from contact with the number 47 of Bobby Bond. Front wing damage on the 55 saw Champagne make a long drive back into the pits for repairs. Once back on the track, Champagne's ride was obviously not handling up to par and just about got lapped before a wreck in turn four. Soon after, the 68 of Barnes pulled off the track, which opened up the points chase yet once again. Champagne was able to bring the Osetic 55 home in a sixth place spot, ensuring third place in the points chase for 2018. With eight top fives, 12 top tens, and not a single DNF on the season, Champagne put together another solid performance for 2018. Congratulations to the driver of the TJ Toyota, Osetic Racing number 55, Keith Champagne.